Nuclear regulators say they will allow two power reactors in western Japan to continue operation until September. New safety guidelines will be introduced in July. The number three and four reactors at Kansai Electric Power's Oi plant have been the nation's only two reactors online since last August. They cleared the government's earthquake safety test introduced after the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami. Legally, the utility can operate the reactors until the next regular inspection in September. Attention is focused on whether the Nuclear Regulation Authority will apply the new safety guidelines to the two reactors in July. NRA Chairman Shunichi Tanaka said after the planned regular inspections, the two operating reactors will be checked to see if they meet the new safety requirements. Some local governments in Japan with nuclear plants in their jurisdiction will likely miss Monday's deadline for reviewing their disaster control plans. Other municipalities have already finished the process but have yet to draw up concrete evacuation plans. In light of the 2011 nuclear crisis, the nuclear the Nuclear Regulation Authority ordered municipalities within a 30-kilometer radius of a nuclear power plant to review their disaster control measures based on new sets of guidelines. These call for evacuation areas around nuclear plants to be expanded from the current 10 kilometers to 30. They also require evacuation or stay-at-home orders to be issued based on radiation dosage. An NHK survey shows only 46 percent of local governments said they will be able to finish reviewing their disaster control plans to meet the deadline. Some municipalities say the central government was too late in revising the guidelines and providing explanations necessary for them to review their community-based plans. Others say they haven't decided where to evacuate residents or don't have the means to evacuate a large number of people. Japan has pledged to provide conflict-stricken countries in Africa with about $550 million to help bring peace and stability to the continent. Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida made the pledge in a meeting with ministers from about 50 African nations in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, on Saturday. He will also discuss the agenda for TCAD, the Tokyo International Conference on African Development, to be held in Yokohama in June. Africa is drawing global attention as the world's next economic frontier. He also stressed the need to establish peace and stability for future growth and prosperity. The $550 million aid package will be provided to nations and regions that are plagued by civil war and fighting, including Somalia, Mali and border regions between Sudan and South Sudan. The aid program is aimed at helping strengthen security forces and support refugees. Defense Minister officials in Tokyo are trying to figure out why the Russian military dispatched bombers to fly around the Japanese archipelago. Air Self-Defense Force commanders scrambled fighter jets from bases across the country to track the planes. The defense officials say radar picked up a pair of Russian Tu-95 bombers flying south over the Sea of Japan on Friday morning off the island of Kyushu. They say the planes then traveled over the East China Sea around the main island of Okinawa. After that, they note the bombers headed north over the Pacific, racing past the islands of Honshu and Hokkaido. The aircraft did not enter Japanese airspace. The defense officials say two Russian bombers of the same type flew around Japan in September 2011 without violating the country's airspace.